So it's probably winter for you guys, but for me, dude, it is hot here. Okay, so the last time I talked to you guys, I was trying to do two videos a week. I was kind of burning myself out and I had a lot of stuff to do on the boat. The boat ended up being way more work than I thought it was gonna be. This is what I've, I've got to do left. Finish the through holes, I've got 10 left to do. Bed the windows, that's done. Bed the hatches, uh, most of that's done. I only have two hatches left to do. Place the port lights, haven't started on that yet. First I can go in the water and then I can get the engine running. I'm so glad I got the windows done. Awesome thing. The only thing left to do before I splash is to put the prop back on, possibly replace the cutlass bearing, I'm not sure yet. I need to fix the rudder and then paint the bottom and I'm done, I can go in the water. So yeah! As far as me, my psyche, I'm, I'm in this whirlwind right now, but I realize what's important and I know what to do. And it's, you know, take care of uh, the, the content, take care of you guys, the, the people that support me, and take care of the boat. My name is James Evenson. I'm a mechanic, a musician, and a round-the-world sailor. Four years ago, I'd sold everything and made some interesting life choices. I bought a catamaran, built a hardtop, sailed to Cuba, painted shark's teeth on the front of the cat, lost a rudder, built a rudder in a shed, lost the other rudder, built a rudder on the beach, dressed in drag, made coffee in a sock, dressed in drag again, sailed to Easter Island, sank the dinghy, sailed to Pitcairn, sank the dinghy again, sailed to French Polynesia, sank the dinghy one more time, got a new dinghy. I meant to do that. Sailed to Hawaii, shipwrecked in Hawaii. Rode the catamaran down the street at three o'clock in the morning. Wrote some magazine articles. Started a Kickstarter campaign. Flew to Curacao. And now, I'm finally grinding my way back to life on the water and my next adventure. I'm working on the skeg because I've taken the rudder off and I did some damage to the skeg. So I'm just trying to clean it up enough to use some epoxy to fill it in. So this is the washer for the top, that one goes here, and this one is for the bottom. And this one is actually the real reason why the rudder was so sticky, because it was gone, it was missing completely. And this rides here, and this thing rides on top of it. So without this washer, that is riding on the bronze, and it was just making it more difficult. The problem is, is there enough room to put these two washers in? Between here and here, there's 47 and an eighth inches. And with these, it's 47 and 3 sixteenths. So there's 1 16th that it's bulging over. If it's just 1 16th of clearance problem, I'm thinking that I can just button it up and it'll work. What I'm gonna do is paint the inside of this with etching primer and then put some anti-fouling on it just on the inside and then put everything together and you pick the whole thing up as one piece. It's gonna be a pain in the ass. They must have had at least like four guys to do this at the factory. This is a heavy rudder. Okay, so that's what I'm working on today. I'd like to have this rudder in by, let's say 3 p.m. All right, this was the best thing I could get. This is universal bonding primer. Let's just see what it looks like. Yeah, it doesn't look too bad. So I've decided to just um, prep and prime the whole thing because it's just going to be easier to prime the whole thing right now. I actually put some filler epoxy in here and then sanded it down smooth to, so it'll look really nice when it's done. So I'm going to put a couple coats of this on the whole thing and then I'm just going to paint the backside black with the bottom paint because I can't reach there once the rudder's on. Okay, I got it primed and now I've got a little bit of black primer from another cruiser here that was painting their bottom and just had a little left over. Almost always this happens and then they just leave it. And this paint is so thick, it's crazy thick. Look, I'm just gonna go ahead and slap it on here. Yeah. And then I'll do the entire back side of this whole thing. Two hours later. This is all painted, 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 painted. I touched up this one, touched up the top of that, touched up this, I touched up the top of the rudder. Just this top edge here. Now I just gotta clean this up. And then I think it's ready to go back on. Oh, I gotta take um, a 16th of an inch off of this for this one. Definitely, definitely don't wanna take it off of this one because this one's the one that the rudder's gonna be riding on right here. 
And that is like the most important washer, I think. This rudder is gonna be nice. I, I had to borrow a sander from a friend because I, nobody has a square sandpaper and I really don't wanna to go to the store. So this is what I got for the bushing. I'll just be careful and try to make it as flat as possible here. So yeah, I'll take all this paint off. It's almost dry and uh, try to get that as smooth as possible. Nice and smooth surface for that. And then uh, I've smoothed that surface, cleaned and smoothed this surface. And now all I have to do is just grease everything and go get the, the other guys and put it together. So test fit time coming up. This piece that broke off, I'm, I drilled out the bolts and got the bolts out. So I'm gonna be getting some new bolts. These are the bolts. And then putting that back on here. Say hi, Chris. Hi, Chris. You guys know Hein. Yo. Couple of boat captains helping me out. So we formulated a plan. We're going to stand the rudder up. All three of us will get it in there and then they'll try to hold it and then I'll put the skeg on. If it's too heavy for to do that, then we'll use the rope that goes up to the winches and we'll winch that, that bastard up. Sound good, boys? Sounds great. Sounds awesome, James. One, two, three. Light work. You're all the way up. Wow, that's beautiful. Super smooth. Okay, test fit is done. And like I thought, it's gonna have to come down and get shaved. The bolts don't line up. You see, it's almost there, but needs about a 16th of an inch. That washer needs to stay big. This washer needs to go in. And that line is the, the thing holding everything up. Yeah. Thanks, guys. It's okay. That's fine. Just drop her all the way down. Perfect. Yep. Let's just tilt that forward and get that washer off and put it right back where it is. Give me a sec. I'll help you. Okay, cool. Wow. I can't believe this is almost done. Holy shit. Thank you so much, dude. <laughs> you did possible work yourself. I've just tried to sand this down for about an hour and it, it ate through two pieces of sandpaper and a, bat, a whole 18, 18 volt battery. And I cannot get this thing to come down any more than that. I'm gonna take it to the machine shop tomorrow and hopefully they'll just like put it through the machine. So I just gotta do that and put the rudder back together and then just put it all back together. But it's set up, it's gonna be done tomorrow. Not a lot of room for grease in there, huh? It's just in the little channel of that thing. I've got that loader up here loaded with uh, some marine grade grease. It'll be a greasy bastard. Man, this thing moves good though. Holy crap, we were trying it when it was just in there, going back and forth. It's gonna be smooth. And you know, the reason I'm doing this is because I want the autopilot not to have to work very hard. It'll use less power. I'll have to have less power to begin with. I'll have to run the, the generator way less often just for having done this job yeah what is up people so i spent the first half of the day uh, a little upset because i couldn't get fit the rudder this morning but i've got it now and i have to shave down the bottom bearing just a little bit this space here that's three mil and then this i've got bolted in you see there's one bolt here and there's one bolt here and then there's all that sealant stuff that i put in it and then this space doesn't fit this washer, but it's four, four mil will Hold on. with room to spare. See, I can I can push this up and down like this. I'm wondering if that's enough. That's probably enough clearance, right? Let's just make sure. Let's see. Yeah, it's got enough room with, with plenty to spare. Okay, so yeah, four should work, I think. That'll give it like half a millimeter. Okay, boys and girls, the rudder is finally complete. Look how smooth it turns. One finger, watch. Oh yes, oh yeah. That was way different than when I got the bow. So, there's a little bit of gap in there to allow for the Delrin to swell. Uh, it's a bit big, it ended up being about two mil. I wanted it to be about one, but that's okay. And she moves so smoothly, so easily. And she's riding on this bearing here. Yeah. 
So the only thing I have left to do is I got some new bolts for these. Here's the old bolt. So here's the new bolts. I'm going to grind this out a little bit to fit this type of head because I couldn't find the same length with the countersink heads, this, this type. So um, I'm going to grind that out so I can make that flat. And then this will fit in here like that and uh, get epoxied in and painted and stuff. Should be pretty easy. Should be a one day job. And then I just need a couple more bolts. I couldn't find them long enough new. One here and one here. So yeah, that's the rudder job. All finished. Another one bites of dust. Okay, so that's it for the video. Thanks for watching. Much love guys. Uh, I'll be updating you again this weekend. Um, I'm trying to do two of these a week, but this week I just said screw it and I needed to get some work done. So I've done a lot. The through holes are all, all prepped. I'm ready to pretty much drop the boat in the water. So now that I'm in a holding pattern, I can do like little maintenance jobs and then editing little maintenance jobs, then editing uh, all the big stuff. Heavy lifting is done. This baby's gonna be in the water soon. <laughs> okay, I'm high. I need the fan now. <laughs> Dude, you guys are not gonna believe this. There's two 20 volts and one 10 in the marina, and I just wasn't paying attention, and I plugged in 220 and burned my fan up. Doesn't work at all. Oh, that's my lifeblood! I gotta get a new one, dude. The mosquitoes are gonna kill me tonight. This boat is untenable without a fan like that. Untenable. I mean, I'm gonna have to like run away and go to somebody else's house or get a fan. I gotta go.